Miroslav Skorik, Carpathian Concerto. Carpathian Concerto was written in 1972. This composition is the ending of new folk wave in Ukrainian composers' creativity. Miroslav Skorik became the world-famous composer after writing his Carpathian Concerto. There are organically combined national sources and neoclassic trends with achievements of Europe avant-garde, aleatorics and sound system. Carpathian Concerto became not just a symbol of neo-folk style. The author found new wonderful expression forms of national values, pantheistic priorities of spiritual liberation of the individual. Skorik demonstrated his brave and the most modern systems of 20th century, polystyle models. A special sign of this concerto is using of just elements as a parallel folk model to the Hutsul folk song and dance sources. This composition has its own concept having a lot of signs of folk tradition, concerto improvisation elements of Baroque. The composer's stylistic of this period was formed on the neoclassic form creative principle, which includes constructs of theme structures, dynamic of symmetry and contrasting, mode possibilities of pitch transpositions, horizontal and vertical. Miroslav Skorik found stylistic psychologization formula of national intonations and included it into polystyle systems of searching using the baroque and folk sync in ways. The individual composer's style is formed due to clearness of melodic lines, structure, compactness, austerity and logic presentation of musical material. It's very interesting that Miroslav Skorik wrote his Carpathian concerto after visiting the Ukrainian village Dubina that is placed near the Carpathian mountains. He was inspired by the beautiful Carpathian nature. So this composition was written when the artist was in unity with nature. In this four-part concerto, composer combines difference in styles and national cultural traditions genres and rhythm intonations layers. There are the motives and means of expressiveness of the archaic Carpathian sound space showed very brilliantly. The sounds of folk instruments, especially drum beats, are imitated very colorfully. All those means of expressiveness which are used in Carpathian concerto unite common features of Vitaism philosophy spontaneity, freedom, transmitted in music through improvisation, active rhythmic pulsation as a symbol of continuous renewal and vitality. All of them exist in an inseparable connection and are manifested in all elements of the ex expressive system. Thank you for attention.